Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and we are doing a bonus reading for Mr. Taeyang and Mrs. Jian. And this is because in August this was the highest reading that there was. And so this is our bonus reading for the month of August. Woohoo! So also um, I will be picking a winner for the month of August for a free reading and I am going to tell you what that phrase is that you need to type in the comment section below, okay? And with that, um, it has to be in the comment section below to be able to be picked for this free reading, okay? So, all my subscribers out there, all my Divine Oracles, the, in the Divine Oracle tribe, um, yeah, you will have a chance to win a free re reading. So, let's see what we have for Mr. Taeyang and Mrs. Jian. We have Bad Health, Crown Chakra, Occupation, and Firm Foundation. Hmm. Let's see see what is going on here. Let's get a couple more cards. Partnerships and alliances, foundation and achievements, and seeing the light. Yes. Foundations and alliances, or achievements, sorry, and the light. So I kind of feel like Somebody is maybe awakened and receiving some gifts from spirit, having that crown chakra open, being able to perhaps um, be psychic or have uh, some one of the clairs like clairvoyance, clairaudient, or clairtransient, and there's a whole bunch. So let's just see here. We have four, 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 seven, seven, eight, and three. Hmm. Maybe you've been seeing four, four, four a lot. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. And obstacles and challenges is on the bottom of the deck. This might be something that is a bit of a challenge for you. Um, Seeing as it's on the bottom of the deck, that's usually has to do with issues you might come up with, might encounter. Let's see, let's get some tarot for Mr. J uh, Taeyong and Mrs. Jian. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, let's see, what do we have for them? What's going on with them, please, spirit? Now some people believe that these people are real, some believe that they are fake, so it's up to you to discern. I am picking up on somebody's energy here. Okay, so we have the strength card here, and then we have the Queen of Pentacles um, crossing. So somebody's going to have to be courageous, strong, and maybe tame the beast when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles. He may see her as the Empress, Mr. Toyong. I want to give that love offer here and take that leap of faith. Oh, worried about looking like a fool, possibly. Let's see, what else here for Mr. Taeyang? Uh, yeah, walking away. Somebody's walking away from this. I feel like it might be Mrs. Young here. She is the Queen of Cups, or this is another person in this energy. 
Yikes. Okay, so it looks like... Keep in mind, this might be the same person because the Empress is showing up and she is all four queens and with the Queen of Pentacles out here and the Queen of Cups. There could be other people involved or this could be just the Empress showing up as herself in uh, the Queen to say that she has her own money and that she's a sweetheart. But the Ten of Swords is a betrayal. So it's possible that a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Pentacles is trying to get this Empress to walk away from something here, some type of love offer. Maybe they're trying to get her to leave a group or wanting to, what is this? Has to do with public recognition and possibly being in the spotlight having to be very careful on how they move forward let's see here what are all these women here for what is this i got two more cards and then we're going to clarify and see who's who and what's what here yeah somebody is seen as a star here and yet there is a three people here, three parties, three people, and the death card. So, hmm. is this a third party situation here that needs to come to an end or that is the reason they're walking away? Maybe there's two other women in this love situation. Hmm. Definitely has to do with the third party. And this empress is walking away from this. I kind of feel like this Queen of Pentacles might be this Empress. She's being strong. She's got her own money. There's a love offer here. She might feel like a fool or wanting to take this leap of faith, but having to walk away from it. There is a Queen of Cups here that does get betrayed. And maybe this is all the same person as this Empress who gets betrayed by this person that's giving this cup of love. Maybe wanting to be with this empress to do with being in the spotlight, getting recognition by being with her. And they may have another person they're with. And that might be why Mrs. Jeon is being asked to end it, or does end it. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, this has to do with something from the past, or someone from the past. So Miss Jeon may not want this love offer because of some past betrayal with a third party. could make a lot of stress causing bad health for her. She might have gifts here and be able to see when it comes to her work, her occupation, and what firm foundation she wants that security when it comes to a partnership and alliance foundation and this is a house home with a family so it could be 
that she sees a cer certain people as her family and she's having to see the light about this or this person that's doing this love here Mr. Taeyang he may want a home with children and this might be not what she's looking for that might not be her path she might be saying no to that and walking away because of something that happened in the past between these two let's get I'm going to use this one actually let's see yeah a marriage a proposal coming forward by this person and this might not be what Mrs. Jeon is looking for she might be married already Ooh, the Emperor is here who is being strong and courageous maybe trying to tame the beast when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles yeah this Queen of Pentacles she looks like she might be another person who is seeing some shady ass behavior or it could be this Empress sees this shady ass behavior from this Emperor putting her in a competition this Empress wanting to give an offer of love with the page of cups this is news about love and here is the offer yeah walking away not wanting to feel like a fool what's this eight of cups we already know they walked away yeah out in the cold leaving this emperor out in the cold these are divine masculine divine feminine it's like they are <sighs> not able to let this go feeling like if they go forward with this that it's going to keep happening that there's always going to be a third party not trusting it even though they're a divine couple and they're meant to be together the emperor and the empress and it could be that even though they are an emperor and empress does not mean that they are not going to go through trials and tribulations of their own to learn lessons and this kind of dynamic kind of feels like a um, twin flame to me because of the runner chaser dynamic wanting that victory seeing them as wish fulfillment but being reminded about this third party and not wanting to go forward there's too much fear here what is this th Queen of Cups here? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Yeah, she's self-sufficient. She doesn't need anything or have to have love. She's good on her own. She is willing to give three pentacles, however, to somebody that is worth her love. What is this Ten of Swords? What is the big burden here in this, uh, not burden, um, Ten of Swords is betrayal. Yeah, this is healing the betrayal. So I'm wondering if she's going to be able to move forward to get this victory. Yeah, victory in this love. Wow. So what's the star then? Are they going to come together? Mm. Nine of Wands is that passionate moving forward coming in hot and heavy hot and passionately or just wanting to come in for a good time not a long time so but I can't see that if there's wish fulfillment they could be the star they are in public eye Mr. Tiong, Taeyang and Mrs. Jeon so let's get one more on this king or this knight of wands yeah, is watching. Is watching what? What are we watching? The star. 
hanging on to her. What's this Three of Cups then? What's the third party about? What's this Three of Cups? <laughs> Could be a celebration to do with marriage, may not have to do with a third party. This could be very well be a situation where there's a celebration and a wedding. Why is there a death or is it a rebirth? Is this a reconciliation here that might happen? Maybe they can't fight it anymore. Yeah. A rebirth from someone from her past. So... <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Hierophant marriage. Hello. <laughs> marriage to someone from her past. Now there is going to be some obstacles and challenges. And there is material and spiritual prosperity here. Acceleration. Accelerated motion wishing upon a star kind of feeling here the third eye chakra somebody's awakening uh their gifts here they may have already talked to their family members about this marriage there's boundaries in place standing their ground maybe their family feel they are too young to be getting married they may be kind of bored and disconnected from their family or bored about the conversation. The shadow work is done. There's the light and the dark and they're accepting both um, their shadow side and their light side, right? And that's being balanced. Understanding that you, we all have a shadow and we all have the light side and it's about being able to balance both sides Harmonious, harmonious, in harmony. <laughs> it wasn't coming out right. <laughs> okay, there might be some expectation about some truth, however. So, what is the truth then? What is this expectation about this truth? Let's find out. What's the expectation to do with this truth? Oh, okay, I get it. <laughs> um, this could be about uh, pouring into one another, pouring into themselves, having that self-love, and knowing what they deserve in life and what they don't deserve and having that pouring into themselves having that self-love and having that love for each other here with the star here i feel like um <laughs> i see there's some concern here i feel about being in the public eye being um a bit of a player or dating around because of their occupation okay so I kind of feel like this empress might be concerned that because of their occupation here that this firm foundation that they have they might try to build here might crumble because of what they do for a living but there's the, the balance here about partnership and alliances so I kind of feel like it's about the men's side and the woman's side with both flags being here and then having these this beautiful rainbow over the house with this family like everything's gonna be just fine they both see the light when it comes to this relationship That's a proposal. And love. There once was a broken heart, but it's in reverse. Yeah. The Empress and the Emperor here. 
Wow, so this is awesome. Like, <laughs> this is going to be great. There's the emperor on the bottom there, with the empress here. So, wow, and the emperor's showing up here too. So this has to do with this runner chaser. He seems to run her down and peg her down to get married. <laughs> He catches her. There's a rebirth here. It's not an ending. There's a rebirth to this. They knew each other from the past. Maybe things happened in the past that uh, maybe they didn't want to see or want to deal with, but it's healed now. Okay? When it comes to this love, there is going to be a victory here and a marriage, it looks like. Wow. Cool. So that is your bonus read. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I liked reading it. Let's see when this might happen and what type of zodiac signs are going to come up with this. And we have 10 months, 10 weeks, 10 days. I feel more like 10 months. There's Scorpio here. Leo here, Capricorn here, and Pisces here. So I kind of feel, I'm going to roll this dice again. Yeah, six to ten months from now, I feel like that's between six and ten months, there's going to be some type of um, where they talk and there's an offer here but I kind of feel like it might be a while before they get married so with this marriage card so let's have a look at when they might get married one year one to three years from now that they'll get married wow Sweet. So there is going to be some truth that is had here that comes up and they're going to talk. There seems to be that fear is gone now and there's that healing that has been done from whatever betrayal this empress has felt. I feel like it had to do with the third party at some point, but now it's coming in as a celebration with the marriage <laughs> all right guys please like share and subscribe and give me that thumbs up if you like what i'm doing and we'll see y'all next time stay blessed all right later <laughs>